Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomania. At last I got time to create the video on CDS. So in this video, we will see the some little bit theory part of CDS, why SAP come up with the CDS and what is the basics of CDS definition and all. In next video, we'll create the simple CDS view. Let's get started. SAP HANA supports the SQL to define, manipulate and consume the data from the database. But on top of SQL, there are a lot of other higher technologies are there like OData, BOPF, Business Intelligence, EDM. These all are technologies. What these technologies do, they create the higher level data models. What I mean by higher level data models, so on top of the normal tables, they will combine these tables and they will keep it ready so they can easily consume these tables. Not only that, they will add the semantics to the table. They define the different, if the uh, description of the fields is not, not as per their requirement, they will add those description. They will add a lot of other things as well and enrich this data model. But the problem was that these each technologies have to create their own data model. Like OData have to create their own data model, BI have to, BOP up and BI, they have to create their own data model. But suppose some data model is there, which can be used across the all the technologies. Still, they have to create the data model in different different technologies because we were not having common technologies. So to address this issue, SAP came up with the CDS. So this CDS will be the common things which can be consumed. This is the data model, higher level data model, which can be consumed across the technologies so this is the definition of core data service a set of collection a set of domain specific languages and services called cds for defining and consuming semantically rich data model so we will divide this definition in part and try to understand so it is a set of domain specific language domain specific language means data definition language data query language data control language so data definition language is an enhancement of SQL only, which will define semantically rich database tables and the views, which we usually call CDS entities. Data query language means the CDS entities, which we have defined using the data definition language, we can call in another CDS as well, or in our select queries also. So that is a part of data query language. Data control language, Whatever the entity which we define using the data definition language, we can give the authorization to that particular CDS entity using the data query language or the DCL, data control language, which we can say it will control that who can access this particular CDS entity. So these all are the domain specific languages are there. Second part is semantically rich data model. What I mean, I mean by the semantically rich data model, semantically rich data model means not only the CDS have the table and the relationship between the table, apart from this detail, there is a lot of extra details also there. Like that if we are using the CDS with the Fiori applications. So what will be the description of that field when it will be displayed on the application Fiori app? where it should be displayed, what will be the app for help related to this particular field and how you can uh, filter further this particular field, all kind of information we can embed it within the CDS and we can do that uh, to the Fiori application. If you are using the CDS along with the Fiori application, using the metadata file, we can add this, this all the information. We will use annotation to add this all the information. Not only that, like that we are enriching the simple data with the extra informations. We can add not only this annotation, we can add, do, we add the more information, we can do a lot of calculations using the expression, we can join the tables using association. One of the core concept of CDS is the association. This we will learn in our upcoming videos. Associations are joins only, but on demand. We will see in upcoming videos. There is a two flavor of CDS. I can say like the two kind of CDS separately. 
one is the abap cds second is the hana cds so if you want to read in depth then i will give you one blog description uh, that is very clearly explained about the abap cds and hana cds i just want to give you the overview what what is the hana cds and what is the abap cds so hana cds basically it developed by the hana native developer who write the sap hana database code write there to create the structures tables they in the hana access engine it's a native developer like the oracle have their own native language and they, the developer are different for that particular native language hana also having their own language native language there the hana cds developed and they will used by the hana applications means they will use by the as uh, used by the hana specific application there is no required of the application server at all if you want to consume those hana cds you could directly can access those hana cds on the hana access itself and there is no application server involvement at all but the abap cds another part this is another another side i can say it's developed at the application layer side and it's uh, developed by abap part itself so so both if i say the difference if you know difference already about the open sql and native sql it's the same thing so hana like a, uh, hana cds abap cds is like the open sql and hana cds like the native sql might be the syntax might be different but you just can't be copy and paste the cds you of the hana cds in the uh, our abap cds because uh, there is there is a lot of functionalities are there which is not available in the abap cds and which is available in hana cds because abap cds is open source it can be used by any any database it's not database specific if you are using the oracle and if your version uh, your database is oracle or some other db6 database any other database and you, if your sap abap network version is 7.4 and support pack is 5 and above then you can create cdsu there itself so not a, it's not a hana specific it's like a open open source like the open open sql is open is the same way but the hana cds is the specific to the hana database they developed by native developer for the for which can be used by the hana application which developed on directly hana database itself so these are the two basic difference and the abap cds is a part of ddic itself our uh, in the in for creating so suppose we how we were creating the model before the cds came using the dictionary also we create the views views nothing like the simpler form of the model we are combining the tables and displaying the uh, results so these are the kind of model which we have used to create but the hana C cds is a uh, source code based editor one more important thing we can't create the cds in the dictionary tool itself we have the source code we should have the source code based editor so we should use either uh, either the eclipse or hana studio then only we can create but on the gui we can't create the cds and last but most last but most important thing so cds is used abap cds is used for the used by the abap applications and the hana cds used by the hana application which developed directly on the hana database what is the difference between the classical views in abap and the new things cds in abap so so giving the exact answer i have created one slide the first and most important thing through cds we can achieve code push down but code push down means we can whatever we are doing executing we can run the complex logic everything in at the database level itself using the cds but it was not possible in the classical views because classical view we can only join the table we can't do the uh, processing summation or any kind of function we can't execute using the classical functions but in cds we can write a lot of complex things we can do addition we can write the case statement we can we can do lot of thing and we can as much as we can write down there and we can execute this code at the database level itself so we can achieve code push down using the cds but in the classical view we can't do this is the first difference second thing if the if you have already aware about the classical view 
we can do only the inner zone there is no left or left or right outer zone is possible at all when we create the view but in the cds not only we can do the inner zone we can do the right outer zone and left outer zone as well we have advanced tactic like association as well and classical view obviously whatever now the in the cds new things are available like union is not possible in classical we can do the union in cds view we can put the data input parameter parameterized cds we can create but there is no concept of the parameterized the classical view we can't put any data and based on data it will fetch it will just fetch the data like that and we can create in cds view inside the cds view we can call and we can do the things when the classical view that concept was not there we can we can't call the another view inside the another view like that these are the basic differences are there main important thing it support the annotations annotation as i already to I already told you these are the metadata information which contain the uh, some information according to technologies or data have some other information some another and uh, other annotations theory have some another annotation different different technologies having the their technology specific annotations which can be contained in the cds which which will perform uh, which will convert according to the technology like that we can say uh, cds support the system variable that also we'll see in this video we will when when i will show you in the example we can write the complex expression we can do the extension of the standard cds use X, sql functions are possible and most important thing we can't create the cds view using the sap gui it's a important thing we have to install the eclipse or as a eclipse or sap hana studio either both of the things we have to do we can't you we can't edit the uh, cds view in the sap gui these are the basic difference we can tell if somebody ask i think most of the theory part we already have covered in this video in my next video we will jump into the system we will create the cds view and we will try to understand each and every point of the cds view while creating the cds view before going to that video please like this video subscribe this channel and whatever you are feeling about this show this video please write it down in comment section it will give me huge motivation to create videos like this thank you and happy learning